All right, I turned on slow down. Yeah, you need to hit at just the right fr that frame. You see how, Mo how Luigi kind of caught the wall a little bit? You need to do that. And then you need to jump like a couple of frames before you actually catch the wall visually. Because the graphics engine itself draws everything three frames later than what the game math runs at. And the math is what drives everything. The graphics is just what helps you see what the hell you're actually doing. This is just sort of a wall jump lesson to prove, because Otstiak wanted me to prove, or at least show him, that you can wall jump in Super Mario World, because he's like, you can't wall jump. Now, there's actually an ASM patch that lets you wall jump off of certain blocks, and off of anything if you insert a patch, and sometimes only at certain levels. So that's an option, but that only works if the creator lets you. There are also patches you can install that fix the glitch in SMW where you can wall that lets you wall jump in the first place. And I can tell that's not in this hack because I caught the wall earlier. And really the only reason I'm doing this is to waste time and prove that yeah, you can do this. Yeah, I'm not really catching the wall again. It's kind of difficult. It is the second most difficult glitch possible in Super Mario World, and there are a lot of glitches, and a lot of them are pains are a pain in the ass to execute. So that really says something. It also says that I'm just gonna f say fuck this. So this is the Cave of Madness. It's less maddening than you would expect, because you can break this level to hell. And I'm going to do it. The first problem... There's a Yoshi up here. There's also a key over there, so you obviously need to feed Yoshi. There's a red pea switch up there. So, that's where bringing the shell from outside comes in handy. Also, glitch where if you eat two items quickly, it acts like three. If you eat three items quickly, it acts like four. Suddenly you have Yoshi. Key! Never give the player a key! There are so many ways you can break levels with keys. Shells are also useful. You can throw 
the key over there. I'm just going to throw the... Actually, I don't even need to throw that over. I can cheat with Yoshi. Observe. Oop, that's right. What I need to do is... Jump over like so. Now I have two springboards and a key. But, you want me to go over there and grab the... There's a P-switch over there that you have to grab in order to get the silver P-switch. But, why the hell would you do that when you have Yoshi? I can take the springboard up here. Jump off the springboard. Yoink! And then I don't need that, but yeah. Now I've got a blue switch, a silver P-switch, a springboard, and a key. I'll only take the key and the P-switches. Also, let me show off a glitch with Yoshi. Oops! That's what I was talking about earlier, P-switch fraud. Fraudulent usage of P-switches. Also, these berries are useless since I can use the Koopas. Alright, now let me just kick these down the stupid slope because it's faster. Yeah, you expect me to just not use the P-switch ever again after you give it to me? Yeah, here's where I say that's not happening. I believe it was the red P-switch. Yep. Red P switch. Fraudulent P switch usage. But yeah. You see how giving me a Yoshi is a problem? Don't need the, o the P switch again after this. Because there's a way to get Yoshi over there. And the P-Switch actually isn't useful later on. There, I can leave that one. Well, I actually don't need Yoshi later on. Unless I want to be fraudulent with the P-Switch. It's kind of unforgiving with the time, though. Which is annoying. Ear kind of hurts from having my headset in all day. Been recording for a while. Eh. I'll take the key up with me. Actually, that's how I do this. Just throw this up there. Grab the other P switch. Punt that in. Drop that down here. And then, since I don't need Yoshi anymore after this, fuck you, Yoshi. Here's how you can break levels with keys. Remember I did a P-switch jump earlier? You can do that with keys, but, since there's also a glitch, where you can grab an item in the same frame you, jump, you land on it, or you jump off of it, Nearly infinite breaking potential. But yeah, it's kind of hard to do. Um, actually, I could probably double grab really easily in here, but I don't feel like it. Mm. 
don't need anything except the P-switch, really. And I think you give, you give me another P-switch later. Yeah, there's where I could use the P-switch. Don't even need those stupid springboards, and I can actually take those with me. Problem, though, is that if you're going to break this level, you need to be fucking fast, because he doesn't give you a lot of time to do it with. I think I ended up running out of time in the last run I did with this level. And yeah, he gives you... A silver switch in there. And he gives you another switch up here that I don't even need. Because... Oh yeah, that's right, you did that, and I ended up needing that. But I can just jump right over that ceiling! Okay, fine. I'll just throw the key over the hole. Laggy P-Switch music! Are those deaf? No, they are not. They're just oddly colored. Actually, I'm kind of going to do a lot of undoing here. I'm just going to keep this P-switch, since you end up giving me, like, 80 million of them. Can't take that with me. So it looks like what I'm going to have to do is take this up, throw the key up there, jump on this. I should have tried to grab one of those. Actually, no. I'm taking the key, and here's why. Check this out. PUNT! Oh, that's why you gave me the second P-switch. Actually, I could take... Probably easily take both of these with me. If I just master the art of double grabbing. There's a glitch where you can grab multiple items at the same time. It's really easy to do with springboards and a cape. You can take a shitload of springboards with you. There, got him. Yeah, you'll see how I have them both. Oh, check out my awesome skills. Unfortunately, this is going to be tough. So what I have to do is... Nah, I'll do it your way. Yeah. I actually probably should do the whole thing your way. Because it's just kind of a pain. Eh. I already broke most of the level. Might as well keep going. I just have limited time from here on out. There. Actually, could just run back, grab a springboard. Spit that out over there. Take this with me. Now watch how easy it is to break the level. First of all, I can retrieve the springboards. Second. P-switch fraud. I 
Actually, I don't even need to 